originally, he was on me, basically. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. It's in the messages. I'm pretty sure he posted it. He said, I'll send you my driver. I said, okay. I go outside. It's a fucking Uber. What do you mean you got a driver? Like, the fuck? Anyway, I go to his house. You know, we hang out on some chill stuff. And a whole... And he ordered me food. And then the whole time I'm there, he's just trying to have sex with me. Cuddle, trying to cuddle. Like, as a grown-ass man, he's trying to cuddle with me. Trying to cuddle with me. Um, Asking me to suck his dick this and the third. Trying to fuck me. I was just like, um, no. I was Basically, I was just like, no. I was just curving him. I wasn't being rude or anything. I was just like, no. I was like, I don't fuck people that I barely know. I'm traveling right now. She said, I wish I would have fucked on you. I keep thinking about it. Because you haven't texted me back, I miss you low key. But I'm not going to keep bothering you. Know I, I know you're busy. Play with me, bitch. It ain't even about being going to his pool party or being in the Kai video. It is about that, but it's not really about that. It's the fact that you're stepping on my toes and you're stepping on my money. Because the casting company I work for, they're real cool and tight. And ever since I went to that house and curved him, that bitch has not been texting me back at all. For no more bookings at all. You get what I'm saying? And I can feel vibes from people. When I'm talking to this woman in person, I'm feeling her vibe. And I feel like this bitch don't fuck with me. But I fuck with her, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like you're stepping on my toes and you're stepping on my money. And you're stepping on somebody that you don't even have to step on. You got a million followers. That's what hurt my fucking feelings. And that's just what it is. You're stepping on my fucking toes. You don't even have to do that. I did nothing to you. I was... I feel like it was a... Regardless of what, my back was against the wall. And if... Even if I was to fuck that, he still would have did the same shit. I just honestly, I'm not even gonna lie about that. I took a video um in his room to show my friend. If that's clout for sending that to one person, and that's then I don't give a fuck. At this point, I deserve something, bitch. I'm leaving here with something. The fuck? You embarrassed me. You fucking humiliated me, and you got me blacklisted from the entertainment industry, bitch. I'm leaving here with something. Say no more, say no more, say, say no more. Look, look, say word to my mother, word to everything I love. Say no more, yo. God bless. You done fucked up. God bless. Word to my mother, chat. Word to my mother, that bitch. Bro, I'm a violate, bro. Word to my mother, this dumb ass, stupid, dumb ass bitch. Chat, word to my mother. I did not do shit. Oh my God, this bitch is a, yo. It's he did me fucking dirty. Like, what the I'm literally shaking right now because he did me dirty. What the f shit is this? The lion is one of the tactics that these clout chasers have to use in order to gain the clout that they're chasing. See, it wouldn't have been as interesting if she would have got online and told the story as it was. Instead, she had to try to make Kai look bad by telling a bold-faced lie. Stop. Because my and podcast is, is about topic. this. I'm talking about maintaining some, just, uh, you know, kind of parallel mm -hmm, to what right, you're talking about right. to a certain extent. Um, uh, maintaining uh, black relationships. Mm. In particular, black women taking responsibility and accountability for their actions, our actions and Abs behavior absolutely. in the relationship with the absolutely. black man because we're not doing that. I did a video that went viral say, why did I divorce my husband? And I, that video is less than about three minutes long. And I said I divorced my husband because... I thought I was better than him. I divorced my husband because I made more money than he did. Once I got my little college degree, now I think he went to college too. And, and the more money I made was what, $1,000 a year? Because he had a great job. I divorced my husband because I'm being in the military, 30 years in the military. Mm -hmm. Now I'm bringing my job home to him, trying to run the house while I done already did my job. I shouldn't have brought that across that, that door, that, mm -hmm. that, that the, the threshold of that door. Please you know? speak on it. Right, speak so you know it. what I'm saying? So I'm divorced my husband for this. Should still be married to him this day. Please, should, please absolutely should still be, because it's, it's not about it, it, all that stuff didn't matter because now I'm out there divorced. Now I'm messing with him and him and that one looking for that one and going to bed by myself every night. The wrong thing when then my husband, the ex-husband, they moved on, got, you know, family, new woman and all of that. And I'm still out here doing all this crazy stuff and not realizing I had all that at home. The quintessential. From the bag. The, right. the, the quintessential. Now I'm great. Now, you know, the quintessential. Right. Absolutely. And now I have an amazing.
amazing relationship. Because I hope and pray that her channel, her podcast does well because there's not enough of that out there. There's not enough of black women holding other black women accountable for their BS. She told you the BS that she did and how she realized and came to that realization that what she did was wrong. She, she left her husband because she made $1,000 a year more than he did. Wow. Men aren't natural monogamous people. Like, and I'll tell you, look at this. The richest men, the strongest men, like kings, celebrities, why are they always cheating or have more than one woman? Because they have the option to. Women are attracted to them because of their fame or their power or their money. So they get the option to cheat, so they cheat more. Then the more you go down on the ranks, an average man who's just married to his wife, who doesn't have the means to attract another woman, doesn't cheat. But realistically, men aren't built for monogamy. They're designed, even physically, their bodies, their sexual drives are designed to have more than one woman. And so when we say men are cheaters, we're already flawed in that sentence because we're not understanding how they're designed. They're not designed for monogamy. They're designed and they're acting out naturally to themselves. And then we come in and we say, you can't act naturally to what feels natural to you as a man. What we do is what's wrong when we say they're cheaters. What we should do as their partners in life, as people that love them, is bring them more women. All I gotta say is protect this woman at all costs. I'm not even gonna go no deeper than that. <laughs> She doesn't, there's no one that can compare to her. Like, she is well, strong in she, her Yeah, in she's her a power. delusional narcissist. Well, that, that, that's who's, exactly who's who's single, who is single at 32. You uh, sound because, like a delusional narcissist to me, to be well, honest. Well, I married with four yeah. But you're, married you're not married kids. to your soulmate, no though. You're not, you're not, are you still look at other women, though? So it's not, well, really, it's not really anything obviously, to, right. to obviously. brag about. Hang on, hold on, let me interject. Why would I say otherwise? Hold on, guys look at other women, bro. What are you talking about? Okay, but... He's I'm not, like, what? He's like, not that exactly, doesn't make him a narcissist because it makes him a man. A man is going to look at good looking women. Now. Obviously. That's just natural. It's normal. But you're not exactly saying, oh, I'm in love with, the, I'm, I'm, I'm married to the love of my life. I have four kids. You're not saying that. You, you're married. I'm, I am married you're to married. the woman I love uh, that I have four kids with. And I just uh, came back with her uh, from a so beautiful she, trip together. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Is, she, is she your soulmate? Is she someone you're supposed to be with? Let me answer that with this. I broke up with, I think, six women on one day because I decided I was going to go monogamous with her. So if there's no also oh, also sure. while you was dating her, you were still speaking to other women. That shows speaking, that's enough. I was sleeping with them. Then that daily. Is, that is enough for me to understand that you, when you saw your wife, you still looked elsewhere, and then you realized no, that I wasn't all these, gonna, and then you realized that all these other women, you know, she's got something different or whatever it was, and you and you you, you took the easy talk route. Into I, to, look, I took the easy. Talk into the well, mind. you think that you think the easy route is giving up like five or six women to go monogamous with one? You think that's the easy route for a man? But the thing is, once you meet your soulmate, the woman that you love and that you want to be with the rest of your life, you're not going to look elsewhere. Where though you you would know from how the, would you know that you would know from are the, you married how you, would you no, know but that? i can say like dating you would know if you really really want to be with someone probably on like the third date you would know that how would you mentally. know that you're single because, 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 you know, because, on, because let me tell no, you no 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 so like because, you're trying to tell me just in three dates you know somebody 100 percent because i asked the right question and you're single because well, I, but you're single though. yeah but i'm single by choice no be, no you're <laughs> but single. I'm single by choice though <laughs> so would you, I, okay how did your last relationship end why did it end i left him why because he was too on the feminine side for me. He but wasn't man enough. So you shouldn't have known that by the third date. No, but the thing is, I didn't. Re he kind of showed his true colors after a while. It was kind of so a thing where he wore a mask. Him on the third date, did you? I thought I knew him. Yeah. So you was wrong. So your whole <laughs> everything you just said is wrong because it doesn't even work in your life. Not really. Not, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> what the Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the modern woman. The audacity of this woman to sit here and make all these accusations about this man as if she knows anything about his life. Talking about you still look at other women. Talking about you're not married to your soulmate. Woman, you're not married at all. But we've already established that, right? Anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.